evening, so night two of um, Masters Athlete training for adventure racing. Uh, last week I set myself a 40 mile round trip uh, to uh, Shaftesbury, a 21 mile bike and then on foot on the way back. Uh, it went okay, quite happy with it, energy levels were good. And I put a small video together in episode one, but episode two, I got invited last night by the guys over at Resilient Nuts, give them a try. Superb for endurance, got a long range fuel there, really good. Keep tipping up on that as we go along. But we are going from Winchester Cathedral to Salisbury Cathedral, works out around about 28 mile mark. Sorry, I'm waiting for a pickup. I thought that was in at the door. I'm waiting for a pickup and uh, 20 a mile through the night. We're starting at half past 11. It's now quarter past 10 in the evening, UK time. And we'll be, I'll get back to you during the night just before we start and at the end, see how we're feeling. Keep you updated with how it's been going. Bye bye for now. Getting started. Um, time is. 23.38 and at the Winchester Cathedral. Uh, running through the night, I don't know which time I'll get to stop because I'm running with four of the people in there all fucking runners, shit. Um, so it could be a brutal night, but I'll try and keep you updated as best as possible. Certainly we'll get the finish line. Bye bye. Seven miles in, um, feel good. Ankles sore, but um, 20 to go. See you on the other side. So the, the afternoon after the night before, um, sorry I didn't give any more updates last night on the Clarendon Marathon. Um, so I'll give you a breakdown of the night. Uh, I bumped into and met four new people I'd, I'd never met in my life. And <laughs> what was interesting when we first met, uh, well I met one of them before and that's how I got tied into these other four guys. And they, they picked me up at sort of half ten at night and uh, I get in the car and then bumped into the next three when we got there. And straight away they were like, oh, boy, what kind of training do you do? And I was like, oh, I do CrossFit. Um, and I'm training to get better at endurance with the hope to be to and take part in an, uh, an adventure race next year. Um, so they said, oh, how, how, far, how far have you ran before? I said, oh, this will be the furthest I've ever run. And I'm, I'm obviously going to build my training and endurance over the coming months. And I returned the question to them um, to find out that some of them had run 100 kilometres. They were all... A, basically ultra runners, Ironman mentalists. Um, so straight away I knew I was going to be in trouble for the night. They said they were all going to stay in zone three for the whole, for the whole sort of double marathon they were doing. Um, and within two miles, I realised I was way out of my depth. So, so far out of my depth. It was, it was unreal. Uh, so I ticked along, carried on at their pace and got to the 13 mile point, which was an, um, a, almost a perfect place to, to call for backup, come and collect me. Once again, felt fine from the waist up, energy levels fine, but lower half, hips, left calf, right thigh, um, left ankle were just shot, seized. Um, and this is a direct result of just lack of Lack of training, um, obviously it's only the second one I've done, but um, so more more distance time underfoot is required. And um, I didn't help myself. I, I mean, last week I ran for seven, ran walk for seventeen miles. This week for thirteen, and I was way worse this week than last week. And the pace that I was put under was it was too much. Um, so I live and learn. I'll take that into next week, and we'll hope to do. Uh, up to 100 kilometers on the bike next week uh, in one go. So that'd be the sort of week three strategy going from there. Um, I feel okay now, left ankle is still a bit so. Um, what I did find, uh, I was running with the guys from Resilient Nutrition, Resilient Nuts. If you haven't looked them up, look them up on Instagram um, at Resilient Nut. Um, th their energy packs, their long range fuel packs were, were brilliant. Um, and I'll put a post on that later on fantastic work a couple of other outcomes from that make sure you pack a extra light my, my head torch went after sort of an hour and a half two hours i thought i charged up didn't 
um, so extra light, better camel pack, um, even though I bought a new sort of uh, uh, hydration pack, um, have one that's easier to get to, so sort of a tube, a camel pack rather than bottles. And, and and run at your own pace and and only 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 run with the big dogs when you're pre prepared to piss in the long grass. That that was hard. Okay, thank you very much. And I'll put a new post out in the next ten days to uh, seven days to ten weeks, two weeks. Thank you very much. Bye bye.